All right, everyone, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the timeline view. Timeline view is a bit different because it doesn't really have a display of its own. It passes that feature like to create the display to the child controls or the controls that are being returned from the timeline view. The main idea behind the timeline view is that you can go ahead and provide some sort of a schedule and based on the schedule, the view is going to get the date and the candidates, which is, I think you can use that to, to see that how often the time is updating. And you can pass it to analog view or digital view, some sort of a timer view, whatever you're trying to do on a timely basis, periodically, schedule-wise, and then it will render it. So let me show you a very simple example we're using the timeline view. It is available in iOS 15 and Xcode 13. I'm gonna go ahead and say periodic timeline schedule. And you can pass that, when does the schedule actually start? So I'm just gonna say, okay, it's gonna start right now. By what? By one second. And now the content. So you have to display some sort of a content over here. The context is going to give you access to the date that the timeline view is giving you. And now it's up to you whatever you want to do with the date. So the main purpose of the timeline view is to create these kind of a timers that can give you access to the date. And then you can pass the date to a, another child custom control and display the time over there or do something with it. Uh, it, it will be more suitable if you are creating some sort of a calendar UI or scheduling based application. Right now, not gonna do much. I'm just gonna go ahead and display the time, whatever time is currently in the schedule, I'm just gonna go ahead and display that particular time. So I'm just gonna say context.date and let's go ahead and refresh it. And it's not really going to do much. I mean, it's just going to display the time and the date. And if I go ahead and run this, you will be able to see right here that the time is actually updating. So what's going on is that every single second because we set over here every single second, the timeline view is calling itself and returning this particular view, the text view. But obviously it doesn't have to be text view. You can return anything you want. Uh, so it will be more suitable if you're building some sort of a calendar, as I mentioned earlier on, calendar or scheduling control, or you know some sort of a, these kind of a things like an analog view for clock, and these kind of things, if you want to, you can definitely use that. So that is the timeline view in iOS 15 and Xcode 13. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. I have many different courses ranging from Core Data to Swift UI, RX Swift, MVVM Design Pattern for UI Kit, as well as MVVM Design Pattern in Swift UI new course on GraphQL, Combine, Machine Learning, Flutter, and so much more. Check out the links in the YouTube description. Thank you so much, and I hope that you enjoyed the video.